Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we've been discussing the sacraments of the Catholic Church, and so far we've talked about all of them except one, the Sacrament of Extreme Unction, also known as the Anointing of the Sick. I know how extreme unction sounds, but actually the term just means the last anointing or rubbing with oil. It's not intended to sound like an extreme sport or an extreme stunt, like extreme surfing or something. Extreme unction can be given to any baptized Christian who's in danger of death and has the right disposition for the sacrament, even if they've already received the sacrament before, during a previous sickness. If their sickness continues, and the risk of death does too, extreme unction can be given after a month or six weeks have passed. The danger of death, however, doesn't need to be extreme in order to receive the sacrament, and we should receive it while we still have the use of our senses, if possible. This sacrament can only be given by a priest. Generally, the sacraments of reconciliation and the Eucharist are given to the sick person before extreme unction. But when the priest comes to give extreme unction, there should be a table covered with a white cloth, a crucifix, two lit candles and candlesticks, holy water, a piece of palm to sprinkle it with, a glass of clean water, a tablespoon, and a napkin or cloth. The cloth or napkin are put under the chin of the person receiving the Eucharist. Some cotton and a small piece of bread or lemon should also be had to purify the fingers of the priest. Everything should be kept clean out of respect, especially the face, hands, and feet of the sick person. In extreme unction, the eyes, ears, nose or nostrils, lips, hands, and feet are anointed, because those represent our senses of sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch, which are the means we use to commit most of our sins. Now, as for having the right disposition to receive extreme unction, it requires the following. 1. You need to be ready to accept God's will in terms of whether or not you'll recover from your illness. 2. You need to be in either a state of grace or sincere penitence for all of your sins. 3. You also need an overall intention to receive the sacrament of extreme unction. For example, it's not given to heretics, as they might not intend to receive it or might not be sorry for their sins. However, if a person doesn't want to receive the sacrament of extreme unction, or is afraid of it or wants to delay it, we can still call a priest and tell him to let him do what he thinks is best. At least then, we did the best we could to make sure that our Catholic relative or friend received this final sacrament. Next time, the real meaning behind the anointing of the sick. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.